The holidays are different this year, but some traditions do live on, including tracking Santa's Christmas Eve journey around the world. His trip started just a short time ago, and our next guest is following his every move. Four-star U.S. Air Force General Glenn Van Herc, commander of the North American Aerospace Defense Command, which is better known as NORAD. And this year marks the 65th year tracking Santa's flight on Christmas Eve. General, thank you for joining us this morning. Well, thanks for having me, Morgan. Uh, so let's talk about this Santa tracking. It looks like you're using radars, satellites, even jet fighters uh, to, to track this move around the globe. Talk to us about it. That's absolutely correct. Uh, it all starts off with the North Warning System, which is a series of radars that runs across Canada and Alaska that picks him up first. We picked him up a, a little over a half hour ago, uh, taking off out of the North Pole and uh, moving to the west. Uh, satellites then begin tracking the infrared signature of Rudolph's nose. When he comes into North America later on, we'll track him with Canadian fighters, CF-18s, and then when he enters the United States, we'll track him with F-15s, F-16s, and F-22s. How does this speak to the military capabilities uh, of the U.S., especially given the fact that we have seen these modernization efforts underway and, and we see next-generation technologies uh, being developed and contracts being awarded? Well, that's a great question. Thank you. We utilize the systems that we use 24-7, 365 to track Santa Claus. And our mission is very clear. We defend North America uh, with a binational relationship with the Canadians. And it's a combination of sensors from radars to satellites and our airplanes. And it stretches around the globe in partnerships with our other combatant commands and the Canadians. So, General Van Ark, I just want to shift gears a, a little bit here. Uh, and the politics of it, the actual politics of it aside, especially since I know having had so many conversations with folks in the Defense Department um, that it is a department that prefers to be apolitical. But just the fact that we have seen the National Defense Authorization Act vetoed by the president this week um, throws into question what will happen when it goes back to Congress next week. Uh, we've seen a defense spending bill passed consecutively, not, not always on time, uh, but consecutively for 59 straight years. What what does that do? What does that delay on top of continuing resolutions mean for this process of keeping the military uh, up to snuff, if you will, and making sure our servicemen and women are um, in the best position possible? Well, the politics of that decision, I'm not going to weigh in on. What I'll tell you, it won't delay NORAD track Santa one bit. We're going to okay. continue on today tracking NORAD. Everybody can go to www.noradsanta.org or 1-877-HIGH-NORAD to track Santa Claus today. I'm confident that we'll continue our mission 24-7, 365 to defend North America. All right. And we see I have Santa up on my screen right now. We'll keep an eye on him today. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.